Welcome back to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. All right, I've got Christine Conway of Effective Focus, Inc. with us. Christine, welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be back. Okay, I'm glad that you're here. All right, you want to talk about some stuff that everybody needs to know about from a CEO level. Where are we going today? We are going to talk about strategy and how to know if your strategy needs a tune-up. Okay. So some of the some of the telltale signs is, of course, your dashboard metrics aren't aren't hitting it right um it could be that they're not hitting it or maybe they've just stayed the same for a long time and um, another thing is maybe you've got a lot of um, new business that's not happening Mm -hmm. so you're staying flat with your new business that's another another thing Um, one of those um, opportunities there is that you're missing innovation opportunities is that you know you're saying your your status quo? You designed a strategy maybe a couple of years ago. Maybe it was a three year plan. Or you're using grandpa's strategy. Or you're using grandpa's strategy. Or you're using the strategy that you know. Let's see what happens today. <laughs> Which you know can be effective in in many situations, but it's not long term. Uh, yeah, the wag thing not so good. Not so good because sometimes so good. there's no net for that. No, there's not. Okay. There's not. And so um, many, many organizations go through and they have strategies in place that have been in place for quite a while and they get put on the shelf and then they just start running business day to day. They, t- they take care of fires as they're happening, uh, immediate needs. They, keep their, they don't keep their eye on the ball. They don't keep their eye on that future vision of what it is they, they started the business for. Mm-hmm. Things get in the way. So keeping that out front is key. Revisiting that strategy on a quarterly basis at minimum is really recommended. Let me jump in there for a second. Yeah. Because I'm a big one, for for instance. Mm -hmm. I know this guy, and he had this strategy in place, and it it wasn't working. But he said, I'm going to stick with it. I heard him telling his shareholders, we're going to stick with it and just keep doing this. We're going to keep doing it. I know it's not paying off now, but it's eventually going to pay off. And then I saw a stock go from four cents to two bucks in two months. Mm. But prior to that, mm-hmm. everybody in the world was saying, it's not working, man. You got to pivot. You got to try this and mm-hmm. try to try that. And he had to listen to the peanut gallery mm-hmm. telling him how to do it. And he's like, no, just how. So, how do you know mm. when your vision is the right one and everybody around you? isn't buying into it another friend of mine says well let's let's disco you know let's disagree but still commit Mm -hmm. so how do you i mean there's a fine line there because if you start all pivoting too early and abandoning your strategy because you haven't you know it's not paying off as you're talking about strategy how do you know the numbers won't show you that it's going to work they just show you what's happening now exactly so 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 think in in that instance you've really got to look at you've got this long-term strategy you've got this vision that you you know you feel it you've done your research you know that it's going to happen but it's not going as fast as you'd like it to never does (laughs) we all want instant don't we it never does like today um but taking it, taking a moment and say, okay, what is it going to take me to get there? Do I know it's going to take me six months longer? Some people you don't. You Sometimes don't. you don't. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. Um, being able to uh, put those people around you that are of the same mindset, but not so much to where you don't hear that discord because you need to hear a little bit of that, of that discord. But at the end of the day, it's your executive decision. Right. It's your executive decision. So if you stay in it six months. You're still getting the same noise. You're not making any movement. Then sit back and calibrate again. Okay. You know, and your calibration process should help you decide how much longer to stay into it. Talk, talk to me about the calibration process. Okay. So calibrating is there's a uh, a number of different ways that you can do that. You're looking at your you're looking at your metrics. You're looking at the reason that you're in there. You've got you know things as core values are actually in that calibration process too. Is what is it? What is it? Is it taking more work to get us to where we are? Mm-hmm. Is it? Is it, are things working in the same um, line, uh, lining up, if you will? So, your strategy. You have action plans. You have milestones. You have um, those metrics tied to those milestones. And then when you're calibrating, you're saying, okay, so is the pain that I'm going through today equaling? the the need to stay where I'm at or is it really going to pay off is it really going to pay off right and you've, you've got to keep looking at the numbers and you've got to and you do have to go with your gut a lot 
Okay, so there's a lot of people, logicians, say, no, it's all logic, it's all math, <laughs> it, that's all it is. The gut thing, no, can't, can't trust that. So why do you say you got to go with your gut, though? Well, you know, you, you mentioned the peanut gallery earlier. Yep. And it sounds Every like— Every company has one. Yes, absolutely. Um, and it sounds like the, the friend that you were talking about earlier went with his gut and kind of ignored the peanut gallery. And you've got to be able to kind of— I don't know. I haven't gotten to his head that deep, but I'll, I'll be seeing him. I'll ask him. <laughs> ask him. It's a good thing. Um, so, so your gut. There's a lot. To, there's a lot of stuff out there about intuition. Mm-hmm. I mean, I used to be a naysayer on that. I was like, if it's black and white, that's what I want to look at. Um, but I've really kind of come over to the to the school of thought around gut and intuition. Um, it's not something that. I base every single thing on, but if it's between your thought and my thought and my in, and my in, uh, intuition, intuition <laughs> thank you, my intuition is is pulling harder. I'm gonna go with mine. So, do you is that leading towards the statement that maybe the the more successful leaders are more in tune with their intuition, knowing when when to um, pay more attention to it than than their logic? I don't know if it's more. I think it's they know when to listen to it and when not to. When not to. Mm-hmm. What the when not to part is is really that's where you get off the rails. You get off the rails there. Um, let's see. So you 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 you've got a gut feeling. Yeah. You go with it. It turns out right. You've got a gut gut feeling. You don't go with it. Things eh, they went okay, but not probably as well as you'd want them to. Mm-hmm. So you're you're always making that choice. You're always deciding. Do I go with my gut? Do I go with my feeling or do I go with the peanut gallery or do I go with the numbers? And sometimes it's a combination of those. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's not that you ignore your gut. It's that you use it as a piece of data mm-hmm. along with a, a lot of other pieces of data. Okay. Uh, I was just wondering about that because yeah. you can listen to your gut and inside double guess yourself. We've got about a minute left. Any words of wisdom you want to part with? Oh, well, I tell you what. So some of the things that inside your organization when you, you may want to look at your strategy being um, – realigned or renewed is that do you have a lot of silos going on in your organization is everybody else kind of doing their own thing if they are they're probably not rowing in the same direction to get you to where you need to get so that's another sign that your strategy is probably needing to tune up got it we got to go okay all right before we do please contact information uh christine um i'm sorry www.effectivefocusinc.com and it's 313-246-4230 Got it. All right. Thanks, Christine. All right. Christine Conway, CEO, Effective Focus, Inc. You've been listening to CEO Money with Michael Yorba. Follow us on podcasts and all over social media. Send us any questions that you might have of our guests. We'd be more than happy to pass them on. Thanks for listening. We'll be talking to you later.